Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Cook, and welcome to The Game According to Me. This is my podcast. We're talking about everything going on in the world of sports, but we are now a little bit different, because we are now in football season. So, from here on out, uh, well, I can't say from here on out, so we're going to have, so here's, here's what's going on. For this college football preview special, um, the video will be out on the day I'm recording it, which is September 1st, and the podcast version will be out on September uh, on Saturday, September 4th, um, the start of week one, the official week, not week zero, the week one, the official week of start of college football. And then next week is my um, we'll recap week one, and we'll talk about the you know, week two, where we'll also get involved into the pro football competition, um, pro football side of um, um, the, the predictions, and we'll do the predicting for the NFL and everything like that. And uh, yeah, then after that, which will be what, September 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and on the 14th. On the 14th will be every Tuesday um, on my audio podcast. Simulcast is audio and video, but September 14th, when we talk about week one of the NFL season and week two of the college football season, yes, it will be all on my podcast. So. Link for you guys watching on YouTube, link will be in the description down below. And of course, for those of you guys listening on the audio version, just make sure you're with I think we're gonna have I think we're gonna have fun this year. Um, fans are back, it's gonna be awesome. And games should, games should be played on their normal days <laughs> of Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. So that's gonna be awesome. Full of a full actual college football season should be grand. All right, so why don't we go ahead and just jump right into uh, football and let's take a look at the AP and coaches polls of um, the college football playoffs stuff. So excited, I can't even talk. Is six, Iowa State is seven, Cincinnati is eight up a, a, a non power five conference in the top ten that bodes well for Cincinnati. Will they be in my uh, in my predictions for the college uh, football playoff? We'll talk about that later. Notre Dame is nine, North Carolina is ten, uh, eleven is Oregon, twelve Wisconsin, Florida, Miami of Florida, USC, LSU, Indiana, Iowa State, Penn. Although I think now they just want to go by Louis, uh, the University of Louisiana, uh, Utah, and Arizona State rounds out the AP top 25. And taking a look at now the coaches poll, um, a lot different. Um, as you can see, uh, the, the, the top four mainly stay the same, Alabama, Clemson, Oklahoma, and Ohio State. Georgia is five, Texas A&M is six, Notre Dame is seven, Notre Dame was nine, uh, Iowa State uh, is eight, North Carolina is nine, uh, Cincinnati ten, Florida is eleven, Oregon is twelve, LSU is thirteen, USC is fourteen, Wisconsin, Miami of Florida, Indiana, Iowa, Texas, Penn State, Washington, Oklahoma State, Louisiana, Coastal Carolina, and Ole Miss round out the twenty-five of the coaches poll. Um, this was preseason. I don't. I don't know if anything changed. If anything changed after this "quote unquote" week zero uh, stuff, I did not check it. Um, but uh, it, it's very interesting to see that you know the people seemingly have the the uh, the top four of the same people. People in the AP and the people in the coaches, and the, and the coaches, and, uh, and and who they vote for and who they rank. So. Um, well, there's a lot of things that are happening, a lot of things that are going to be uh, going down. Once again, the uh, SEC seems to just continue on with their with their dominance, but the Big Ten's got a lot of schools in both rankings as well. So 
and and, and some, some surprises that we talked about in the AP poll, Cincinnati making their you know you know making their jump into the top ten of the AP and they're no and they're in the top ten of the of the coaches poll as well. Cincinnati has an opportunity to make the college football playoff. Will they do it though? That's what I think may stop them. And we'll talk about that when we get to my prediction for the college football playoff. But if you guys know me and you guys very well do. You know that when I do these college football predictions, I gotta talk about you know the teams in my home state, right? So that's what's next. We're gonna talk about Northern Illinois, Illinois, who had a victory over Nebraska, new coach. We're gonna talk about Northwestern, and then of course the team is not in my home state, but it might as well be because. Chicago is the biggest. It's the biggest home of. Play in Soldier Field. You know they would play in Soldier Field for all their home games, and it would be packed. So uh, I think they're playing in, year, in Soldier Field this year against Wisconsin, and we're gonna talk about Notre Dame. So let's so let's go ahead. And let's get started with those predictions. All right, so let's get into our predicting. We're starting with the hometown teams, or the home state teams, whatever you want to call it. Northern Illinois. So let's look at this. You've got at Georgia Tech, Wyoming, at Michigan, Maine, Eastern Michigan, at Toledo. Bowling Green at Central Michigan, an off week at Kent State, Ball State at Buffalo, you know, Western Michigan, and then if they make it, the MAC Championship. Now, for years, you have been able to count on Northern Illinois to be a fantastic uh, football team. They would run the football, they would play great defense. And this was all under P.J. Fleck. But P.J. Fleck a couple years ago went to Minnesota. Um, he's been doing a really good job up there. Really good job. In fact, I think I, you know, uh, his team was going to be his team is probably going to be pretty good, you know, coming up, you know, you know, coming up from um, you know, lat coming up, coming off of last year's um, team, but we're talking about here. We're talking about Northern Illinois, right? And I think you know Northern Illinois can be still a good team. I really do. You know, they play in the MAC. I, I, I expect them to. I expect them. I don't expect them to be bad. I expect them to be what they always have been, and that is just. You know, good. Where they have? They got some. T- obviously, it's a tough games. Georgia Tech and Michigan, and I'm sure some of the 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 other teams, uh, the other games as well in their conference are going to be fantastic. Um, you know, so I, I you know as you know as I look at the uh, as I look at this schedule. I see, I see an eight and four record. I see an eight and four record for Northern Illinois. Would, would that would that make the, would that give them opportunity to make the MAC championship? I'm going to say no, it doesn't. I think unfortunately, I think there are probably there are going to be some. So some teams that are probably a little bit better. Um, yeah, especially like you know coming off last year's 0 and 6 debacle. Uh, that was just that was unfortunate. So I, I don't know. I, I think th- this year uh, it's it's you no. Know, and last year was a whole another different thing with everything happening, the COVID and everything like that. So. Um, 
I do this. I think this is gonna be way different. Like I said, I predicted eight four, but I don't think they'll make the MAC championship game, unfortunately, for the Northern Illinois fans. So let's look at Northwestern. You know Fitz, and uh, I was gonna have his team ready. He calls him now the Fighting Reese Davises because of last year Joey Gallo saying that uh, 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 uh saying that um. Um, Northwestern has a bunch of Reese Davises on their team, so uh, that's 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 gonna be very interesting. Fighting Reese Davises. Um, so we look at Michigan State coming up um, um, this Friday. Then we got the Indiana State Sycamores. They're at the Duke. Uh, the Ohio Bobcats come to uh, to Evanston. They got Nebraska, who is who knows what Nebraska can be. Uh, an off week, then we got. We got at Michigan, at Minnesota, the Iowa Hawkeyes, at um, Wisconsin, the Purdue Boilermakers, and then Illinois is not going to be the same Illinois as it used to be. But that, uh, um, um, I don't, I don't think it, it used to be the Sweet Sue Tomahawk. I don't think that's what it is anymore. I think they changed it because apparently the Sweet Sue Tomahawk was was uh, was probably was was more. Um, you know, disrespectful to the Indian culture, and they're they, they're apparently doing away with a lot of those things. I guess apparently, you know, there's a some people talking about you know the Warriors and the, and the Warriors of Hawaii and the Warriors of San Jose State, the Aztec Warriors of San, 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 no, not San Jose, San Diego State, right? All those are you know they're like disrespectful to. Oh, it's just it's crazy. You know, it really is. It's a crazy. We just anyway. So when I look at this schedule, it, it, it is a boy. There are some there are some games in here that they should win, like Rutgers and Nebraska, Ohio. Like you you could see them in their first six games. You can see them legitimately being five and one and four and two. Maybe with you know a loss in a loss against Michigan State and maybe a loss against Duke, maybe. Um, but they can be. You know they can be four and two, five and one, even six and zero. Oh. But then you get that murderous row: Michigan, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin. Oh, four straight games, which is just oh, you know that's gonna be something. And so I'm looking here at Northwestern, and I don't think they make the Big Ten championship game again. I don't. I think I don't think that happens. Uh, I think Northwestern is going to have one of those years where it's just, you know, it, it, it is just not their time. I'm going to say Northwestern goes eight and four, just like you know, just like I predicted eight and four for for uh, Northern Illinois. Northwestern is going to go eight and four. And they're going to roll scratch one. They will not make the Big Ten championship game. Now to Illinois, who I I just with Brett. Illinois, so he's going to have a better shot. And I think that's something that Lovey Smith just, Lovey Smith, he just didn't want to recruit. He really didn't. He just didn't want to recruit. He wanted to coach, but he didn't want to recruit. And there have been rumors that he had felt that being a coach at college was beneath him. He, that he should have been, he, that he even did his college, you know, ways, and that he should have been, you know, he, he should have been pro. He never should have been cut. You know, from Tampa Bay, so so soon. It was only after two years, I believe, he got fired from from Tampa Bay. You know, so because um, they wanted to give Duck Dirk Cutter a chance to be the head coach. They didn't want to. They didn't want to lose him to you know, uh, you know, to another team. That was when that was in the, in the early stages of uh, James Winston. Um, so it, it, it's so Brett Miller was there. Brett Miller was once. He's gonna really turn around Illinois and make them uh, more respectable, and maybe even into a a, a powerhouse. Uh, but you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. He, they've already won against Nebraska, so they already won it up. They've got the uh, Texas State, uh, uh, Texas at San Antonio, excuse me, uh, Road Runners coming up this Saturday. And they're at Virginia. They face Maryland. They are at Purdue. The Charlotte Forty Niners come to Memorial Stadium. They face the Wisconsin Badgers. They have an off week. They have two off weeks because they played in Week Zero. Um, 
Then they get their uh, at Penn State. They got the Rutgers Scholar Knight, the Minnesota Golden Gophers, the Iowa Hawkeyes, and then of course those those, those Northwestern Wildcats. So again, they've got they've got some some games there that I think they have some games they can win, but they also have some tough games as well. Um, just one of those start. I think it's good. So I think I think you know, it all depends on what Maryland is because Maryland has been bad as of late. They've been bad as of late. But if Maryland can step step up their game, I believe that they can, you know, you know, you know. They start six and zero. <laughs> you know, if anybody could start six and zero, they would be, that would be incredible. And then. Who, then, then, so then who do they lose to? Well, they lose to um, Wisconsin, Penn State, you know, Minnesota, and the Hawkeyes. They'll beat the Northwestern Wildcats. They also will not make the Big, big Ten Championship game. They're going to go to a high in Wisconsin. That's just that's just how I feel. Um, this is how I feel. Um, but that be, but that being said, hey, good team. You know, they had a bad record last year. They step up and they win eight games. That's incredible. So once again, I'm predicting. <laughs> and trust me, guys, I'm not, I'm just not saying I just I just didn't go into just saying hey, you know, we're going to. You know, you know, I'm gonna give everybody eight and four. I don't because I, 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 I just, this is my first time really going through and breaking down the the schedule. So and I, and 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 I and unlike Northwestern and Northern Illinois, I had an opportunity to watch Illinois this past week, and I seen what they can, and I seen what they can do, and I was impressed. So I'm going to say, you know, Illinois will be eight and four, and finally Notre Dame. Now, Notre Dame last year was a part of the college football playoff. The second time in the, in, in, the, in the history of the college football playoff, Notre Dame was a part of it. Didn't go as well as I, as, as I expected. No, because I wanted to as being a Notre Dame fan. Um, and and, I, and I, I'm really sick and tired of the, the, the comments and the memes of that you know, Notre Dame shouldn't be in the college football playoff. And I think... Brian Kelly is, and I think a lot of people are. Notre Dame has the number one recruiting class in the um, in the uh, 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 in the future from what I from what I remember seeing. So they are getting more talent. They are getting more uh, thing. I mean, they you know back when back back, you know, back when Notre Dame was getting um, was in the uh, when they went to the college football playoff and they went to the national championship game against Alabama, they were just. Eddie Lacy was running all kinds of ways on on them and and everything like that. I believe it was Eddie Lacy. Uh, so they needed to get you know and the, you know the defense was so you know they needed to get more physical up front. And they need to get on, the, on offense and defensive side. They've done that, and as we've seen from the last two times they played in the college football playoff, their speed isn't isn't what you know what it needs to be to hang with the Clemsons and the and the uh, and the Alabamas of the world, and maybe Ohio State's as well. Um, but I I I, I trust. Brian Kelly to get the speed needed on the corners on the outside, you know, on the edge or the pass rushes on the on the, in the linebacking and the safeties and of course on offense with the receivers and the running backs. So I I, I expect um I, I expect that to happen over the next few years that they will be getting those those high higher higher caliber players so that when they make the college football playoff. Um, you know, whether win or lose, they're not going to get, you know, blown out again. 
and I think that's maybe the big the biggest thing too. If you lose in the country, you lose. But when you get the blown, and and I, as a Notre Dame fan, because listen, Notre Dame is a team that you either love them or you hate them, and I love them. And there's a lot of people that hate Notre Dame. And so then when so when they get blow out, they love to get on Twitter and they love to just say, you know, Notre Dame doesn't belong, yada yada yada. But Notre Dame belongs each and every year. You no. Know, but the thing is, is, is that w- will they make it each and every year? As long as it's four, probably not. If they if they go if they expand and go to eight, in which they should go to eight, uh, yes, they will make it each and every year. And if they and, and if they do the, the you know the, you know the the, the twelve the, the reported twelve, which I'm I'm happy to hear reports that that's being that's being off the table. Hopefully, hopefully they're smart enough to really like, you don't know, go to 12, you go to 8. You either go to 8 or you go to 16. Why are you going to 12? Why are you making it harder on yourself? It just, it, it's, it's freaking stupid, but but as, as long as it's 4, you know, they're not going to make it every year. And this is one of those years where I don't think they're going to make it. Um, let's look at their schedule. They're playing the Florida State Seminoles. Start off. Um, uh, this, uh, actually, it's on, on Sunday. I was to the Saturday on the Sunday. And then we have, uh, uh, September 11th. Uh, it's gonna, this is going to be, it's, uh, an incredible day, I believe. Um, uh, I'm sure college football is going to, I can't wait to watch game day. They're going to probably do a lot of, um, stuff on 9-11 and things like that and how to affect, how it affected college football and everything like that. It's the 20th anniversary, uh, so if, if, if you guys go to my YouTube channel, uh, I'm going to day. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a very emotional day, I, 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 I would expect. Um, I thought, it, yeah, so it's going to be a very emotional day that day. Um, they, 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 they rekindled their rivalry with Purdue uh, for the battle of the... Some t- it's it's yeah, it's some type of shillelagh, so something like that with Purdue, uh, their the trophy thing. They they go back to Purdue, Wisconsin at Soldier Field. That's gonna be a, a one to you know one to look for. But Cincinnati Bearcats. That's probably gonna be you know maybe the, the one of the most effective games this year. That I think it really is. It's going to be you know that game is gonna. Probably be the one that comes down to see whether Cincinnati could make the uh, the, 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 the college football player. You know, along with some other things, but if Cincinnati can beat that puts them in line to make the college football player. As long as they're long Loses in particular a team that I have making the college football playoffs, and we're going to get to that in a second as well. Um, um, then they got the Virginia Tech Hokies, they got an off week, Saturday was 16th. Then they got the USC Trojans back again for the rivalry coming back. Or the North Carolina Tar Heels last year's uh, game in North Carolina was really good. No, Carolina's going to be a better team this year. Sam Howell come back for his uh, senior year, I believe. Uh, the Navy Midshipmen, they come back. They bring that rivalry game back after a year off. The Virginia Cavaliers, the, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, I believe that's probably the, the homecoming game, Saturday, November 20th. And then they are playing their normal at Stanford you know, game to end the year. The West Coast game, It's they rotate between Stanford and USC. On the road, so uh, and and it's funny as you think about that because I was just I was just sitting up there and I and, I, and as I looked to to the to the side of me the TV there was a um, there's a there's a uh, theme from uh, best chance to make college football playoff according to the all state playoff predictor Clemson. Has a 78% chance. Alabama has a 74% chance. Oklahoma a 72% chance. Ohio State 61. Georgia 29. Notre Dame 23. Texas A&M 
15, and Miami with 9%. So Notre Dame has a 23% chance of making the college football playoff. And I think one of the things why it's it's so low is because of these games. They got the Wisconsin, they've got Cincinnati, USC is going to be a better team, North Carolina is going to be a better team. This is a you know, and this is a team that they 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 speaking of Wisconsin, they got the Wisconsin transfer, um, um, Jack Doan, who was a quarter, quarterback of Wisconsin. He's now going to be the starter for Notre Dame, um, coming up this week. So I you know, and they they, they still they, they they lost some guys. They lost they got uh, uh, tight end who was who was really really good. Lost some players on defense as well. Um, uh, but I I, uh, I do think that this team is good. I do think this team can overcome some of these teams. I think they will beat Cincinnati, and that's and 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 that's going to take Cincinnati out of the college football playoff. I do think they will beat USC, um, uh, and 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 everything like that. But I think Wisconsin and I think North Carolina may be too much for them. And I I I, I even think that maybe even because of that. You know, and and, and, they, and they can still lose to Cincinnati or USC, but I'm predicting a Wisconsin loss at Soldier Field, and then there were then the 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 lo- loss to North Carolina causes Notre Dame to miss the college football playoffs. They'll be ten and two. They'll make they'll probably make the New Year's Six ball game um, with that ten and two record, but they will not make the college football playoff. Uh, in back-to-back years, uh, but again, like I said, they are—they are still going to be a fantastic team, and they—and they have the number one recruiting class uh, in the country, and uh, they are going to be right back in the college football playoff landscape next year. So now, our predictions for the college football playoff. Let's start with my number one seed, Alabama. They have some 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 big games. This upcoming weekend with Miami, a ranked team. They've got the Florida Gators. they got the Texas A&M they have to play. they got LSU. And, then of course, the SEC Championship game they have. But I think they will get through all of these. All these games, whether it's by the skin of their teeth or whether it's by blowing them out. Bryce Young is now the new quarterback. I think he is going to be a, a fantastic, another fantastic quarterback. Fantastic quarterback that Alabama has had. I think he will be incredible. I do, I do love the fact that they, um, uh, I, you know, that they've put their, their, um, their, their cupcake game earlier in the season. Later in the season, they, you know, their games are. Um, now they do have a game against New Mexico State. I guess their homecoming game. But usually, New Mexico State would be up there in. in in the, in the, on the Saturday, September 11th, and Merc- Mercer would be the one for a Saturday, November 13th. So, you, you guys know me. You guys know how I feel. I, I you know, I think, well, I think one of the things to make college football better is that you don't, you know, if, if, you, if you are in the Power 5 conference, right, first of all, if you are in a Power 5 conference, you don't play, um, you don't play teams from Division 1A. Mercies from Division One A. You don't play Division One A teams and teams outside your conference, like Southern Miss, like Miami, like New Mexico State. You would either play on the road or you'd play at uh, a neutral site. Like my, my, this Miami's game is going to be at the Mer- Mercedes Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. So that's fine. You play that as a neutral site, but. Alabama should play at Southern Miss and then play at New Mexico State. That's the way it should be, you know, for these Power Five conferences. But that's neither here nor there. Um, but I think I think I think they're going to go through this. Uh, they have and again. Uh, Texas A&M is going to probably going to be the tough game. They're, they're the best game. I think Texas A&M is a really really good team. Um, Florida is going to be tough. LSU is going to be tough. Uh, Auburn is always tough. Always tough. Even if even when Auburn has a down year, Auburn is always tough. The Iron Bowl, November on twenty seventh. Having all said that, they'll make it there. They'll make it to the SEC championship game to place Georgia. Georgia should have a should, should probably have a loss somewhere on their schedule. I think they will beat Clemson. 
at, uh, at, at some point. Um, not and, and, and knocking Clemson out of the ranking. That we're, that, yeah, we're actually this week, right? Because this week is Clemson, Georgia. So there will probably be Clemson this week, helping Clemson be knocked out of the uh, college football playoff. Now, get to that in a second when I talk about the the other ones, uh, my other uh, picks. But then uh, Alabama would beat Georgia, knocking them out of the college football playoff. And Alabama would be the number one seed uh, at 13 and 0. So the number two seed will be the Ohio State football. How about that? So, what happens? So, Ohio State, let's look at their schedule. They have Minnesota coming up uh, tomorrow night, actually. Um, we've got uh, the Oregon Ducks next week. That's going to be a big non-conference game. The Golden Hurricanes of Tulsa, the Akron Zips, and then they get into their, the other part of their big skin schedule, Rutgers and Maryland. They get the Indiana Hughes, the Penn State Nittany Lions, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, Purdue, Michigan State, and then of course the game Michigan. Um, I, I really think the only trouble they're gonna have is Oregon. I have the I have the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes losing to Oregon actually, um, uh, and and then we'll, we'll talk about Oregon in just a second. Uh, but I, I have I have Oregon I have them losing to Oregon, but then afterwards coming up and then running straight through the entire thing with no trouble whatsoever even indiana even penn state with them being ranked teams they'll have no trouble going all the way to the big ten championship where they will face a wisconsin team that is good that is on a roll but they will smoke them as well showing that they are worthy of being the number two seed in the college football playoff ohio state makes it so i just mentioned them number three seed the Oregon State Ducks. No, not the Oregon State. The Oregon Ducks. Jesus Christ. It's early, folks. Um, so, let's look at this. We got Fresno State. All right? Fresno State just put a whooping on UConn. Um, they're going to have a little bit of overconfidence. Oregon's going to take them out. Like I just mentioned, they're going to beat Ohio State. They've got Stony Brook. They've got the Arizona Wildcats. They've got the Stanford Cardinals. They've got the California Bears. They've got the UCL Bruins, Colorado Buffaloes, the Washington Huskies, the Washington State Cougars, the Utah Utes, and then the Oregon State Beavers. Then they have the Pac-12 Championship. Now, can I have the Oregon Ducks being 13-0 and and be the number three seed? Can I really do that? Yes, I can. The Oregon Ducks will be 13-0 and they will face the USC Trojans uh, uh, in the Pac-12 championship. They will beat the USC Trojans 13-0. And they will get screwed by the committee. <laughs> they will get screwed by the committee. Uh, uh, and, uh, and Ohio State will be number two because Ohio State would have beat more ranked teams uh, over to the, do the, their thing than uh, um, Oregon will have. Uh, so... Oregon will be screwed. Oregon will be number three seed and undefeated. Because you know the Pac-12 always gets screwed. Uh, and they'll be 13-0. They'll be the three seed. Putting up a rematch of September 11th in the first round of the uh, college football playoffs, Ohio State and Oregon Ducks. Ohio State will be looking for revenge. And Oregon, and Oregon will be looking to prove that they should have been the number two seed. You know, maybe even a number one seed. Looking better than you know having a better you know playing better teams than than uh than Alabama would have have a you know so all of that but they'll be number three seed at thirteen and zero who would have thought and in a shocking turn of events the Iowa State football team makes the college football playoff because they beat a ranked Iowa squad. They beat a ranked Texas squad. At some point, I believe Oklahoma State will be ranked. They will beat Oklahoma State. Then they will lose to Oklahoma on the Saturday, November 20th. But after beating TCU Horn Frogs, they will make it to the Big 12 Championship in Arlington, Texas at at t Stadium. And they will upset the Oklahoma Sooners, causing the Oklahoma Sooners. And then this is going to be one of those things where the committee is going to have to choose, you know, they both they both they both each won one game, right? They both each won one game. So who are you gonna take? Maybe on paper Oklahoma Oklahoma looked better, but hell, 
the, the, the last game you saw, you saw uh, Iowa State beat Oklahoma. And they're going to say that last game means more than that first game in, uh, in, uh, in, on November 20th. So then, therefore, Iowa State will make the college football playoffs with a 12-1 and record, knocking out the homeless Oklahoma Sooners, redoing the thing, of course, maybe even taking out a 12-1 and Cincinnati team, or maybe even a 13-0 and Cincinnati team. Who knows? But it's going to reunite the thing of needing more playoffs, an 18 playoff or a 16 team, not a 12. Come on, college football. You're smarter than this. Reuniting that spark for warning that an Iowa State makes the college football play 12 and 1. So now we now, now, now that we have our playoff teams, obviously let's go through and let's see what happens, right? We now have the number one seed Alabama against the number four seed Iowa State. Alabama goes on to beat Iowa State. And in the rematch of, of week two, we've got Ohio State and Oregon. Ohio State wins that one to go on to have a match between Alabama and Ohio State for the national championship. Who wins? Well, Saban has seven rings. Now he has eight. Alabama beats Ohio State to win the national championship. Nick Saban, once again, a historic season. It, it, it is just going to be unreal. Um, eight championship rings. He is just, he, he is without question the best college coach of all time uh, in college football. And uh, you have to give the man respect. Have to give him his to do, and he's 70 plus years old. He had a bout with COVID last year. He had a fake bout, and I think he had a real bout. And uh, so, uh, it would be an incredible thing to watch. Eight championship, eight championships for Alabama, unreal. So finally, the final prediction is, of course, who's going to win the Heisman Trophy? We've got uh, several contenders. This year, we have Spencer Rattler from Oklahoma, DJ Uwe Galileo, Galileo <laughs> whatever, uh, DJ, DJU from Clemson, Bryce Young from Alabama, uh, CJ Stroud, the new quarterback of Ohio State, and then Sam Howell from North Carolina. I believe Sam Howell is going to be incredible. You know, I, I didn't mention it in the, in the, in the preview, but I talked about the reason why I don't have Clemson is I expect Clemson to not only lose to Georgia, but I expect Clemson to lose to North Carolina in the, in the championship game. Um, in over time, I expect North Carolina to have a couple of losses as well, maybe to Notre Dame, maybe to some other teams. Then uh, that's why they would not make the national championship game, you know, the college football playoff as well. Um, and I think that's going to be because of Sam Howell. He's, he's going to beat Clemson because of Sam Howell. Um, so, uh, the, uh, and there's a few other guys as well as I'm looking through here and through a couple of um, betting odd sites uh, that are uh, for like the head of trophy. There's JT Daniels in Georgia. There's Matt Corral in Ole Miss. There's the Eric King in Miami. Uh, Kitten Slovis of USC, just to be sure. Brees Hall of, of Iowa State. If Iowa State's going to make the, the playoff, he's going to be a big part of that. As well, so there's a lot of people who's going to who, who win the college football player, but I think the best player this year will be Spencer Rattler of Oklahoma. Uh, he will be the one that takes home the Heisman Trophy this year, and another quarterback that Lincoln Riley turns into gold. Uh, so uh, Spencer Rattler is going to be my pick for the Heisman Trophy winner of 2021. All right, Hall, there you have it. The 2021 college football season preview and predictions. Um, this is gonna, again. This is going to be a fun year. The fans are back. This is going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting to watch college game day in the morning with the fans there, and then you know having the fans everything like that. This past Saturday they were at the the one of the HBCU games, and it's, it's, it's going to be a fun year of college football. Excited, cannot wait for it.
once again, I want to remind you uh, that next week, um, the the uh, my preview and prediction show for the pro football uh, it will be here. Um, you will see it um, sometime next week, I believe. Um, the video version will be out on a, on a on a on a Tuesday, and then the 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 uh, the audio version will be out on Thursday. That would be Thursday the tenth. Uh, Thursday the tenth, and then afterwards we go back. We go we go back to our normal schedule of Tuesdays being our uh, being our day that we we and we will be review the weeks. Of the um the, the past the past weekend's games between college and pro, so uh and then every it's every Tuesday after that until the Super Bowl, which the Super Bowl it is um it, it is that it is that Monday it is that Monday when I do like the the rapid react and I, I I gotta figure out this year whether I gotta figure out this year whether or not I want to do a rapid reaction to the Super Bowl, I really do. You know, and and, and and that's normally for my, you know, that's normally for my, um, for my, um, um, YouTube channel. Um, but I have to figure out whether or not I want to do that this year or not. Uh, you know, because it, it's, yeah, but afterwards, you know, you, you want to talk about it. It's, everything is fresh in your mind. You want to talk about it, and then when you get the next next morning, you don't know if you necessarily want to be able to talk about it and things like that. So we will see. We will see. At this point, I don't I don't know, but um, I think I will do it, but I'm just not sure. But again, I'll let you guys know. So if you're watching on YouTube, just always keep keep continuing on to to watch and listen and. Make sure you click the notification bell so that whenever I, any videos I put up, whether it be, you know, rap reactions or be, it, you know, next week's, you know, game according to me, anything like that. Uh, make sure you, you know, you, you know, you want to get it, want to watch it, fine. And also, if you guys listen on the podcast, yeah, you do the same thing. You whatever you gotta do, just subscribe and keep it up, and uh, I'm gonna be here. College football season time, baby. Here we go. It's time to get, get it's time to get it on lock. Yeah, really, really good fun. So now for links, right? www.patreon.com slash AJ Trip to become a patron. Once I hit a certain amount of patrons, you will determine what you will see on my YouTube channel, what you will hear on my podcast, and what video games I would play on my Twitch channel or what you want to see me do on my Twitch channel because at this point in time I can't play uh, video games because I don't have enough bandwidth apparently so that's that's that, that's a thing that happened recently so I need to, need to call him to check out and you know, ask him about that uh, I think maybe something weird might happen that might have done it but yeah that's that's a thing um and then of course, if you're listening on the podcast, you know you can just go to my anchor page, that you know, my anchor, my anchor.fm page. It distributes my podcast to wherever you're listening to it. So you go there, and then you can, um, if you want to support me, you can. It's three tiers. Um, you, there, there are no perks or anything like that. Is just that if you feel like you want to support me, you can. It's ninety nine cents a month. Four ninety nine cents, four four dollars ninety nine cents a month, or nine ninety nine a month. No free tiers, so do with it what you will. Anything you do, whether it's Patreon, or you choose to support me, or whether you, uh, uh, um, um, on either way, I'm fine with that. Or if you just want to just share, and like, and review my podcast, that's fine too. Either way, you help me out, and I appreciate it so much. So let's do the outros. For those um, for those of you guys on YouTube, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always thank you guys so much for watching. And for both you guys watching on YouTube and listening on my on my podcast, 
Thank you guys so much for watching it and listening. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.